Welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. Today we're going to be looking at how to uh, create mockups in Canva. Now there's a lot of different mockups that you can choose from, um, but in this tutorial we're going to be focusing on the most common for print on demand or um, t-shirt design, hoodies, hats, things like that, coffee mugs. That's what's most common, what people are looking for, but you can also create um, a number of different mockups. But one thing that you can do is you can come over here and they used to have something called smart mockup and I don't see it in here anymore. So what you really want to do is just come here to the main dashboard. Um, and mind you, I'm using a Canva a pro. So some features that I use, they're just going to be only available to pro users. But I recommend if you're going to be using Canva to just pay the $13 or $15 a month, whatever it is, and just this is a tool that you're going to be using daily in your business um, for social media graphic design for mock-up design for uh, brochures and flyers and website graphics and just uh, you know the sky's the limit <clears throat> and i use this i've been using this for years but um, when you come over here um, one of the things you can click on is come through to the print products so you're going to want to go to print products and click on that and that's going to go and give you all this different all these different options right over here and you're usually just going to find exactly what you want to create so for example if we wanted to create um, a t-shirt right here uh, if we wanted to create a t-shirt and go and print it for us then we could actually click on that and go and get some designs right you can also come over here <clears throat> when you click on these you're actually going to be printing a water bottle and getting this like um, being able to you can actually buy this from them and they'll ship it to you because when you um, add these designs over here this is going to be the design for the water bottle and then you can come up here um, and so forth right so you're actually print your designs on quality water bottles and so forth so you're going to be using this look at how many one water bottle $23 and then you can actually get this shipped to you okay so that's pretty cool but what I'm going to do is what I uh, think you are mostly trying to do is maybe if you're like an Etsy seller or something like that and you're trying to sell a t-shirt on Etsy or you're trying to sell a coffee mug and you need some mock-ups right so we're going to come over here and go to uh, create design and I'm just going to go to custom size and let's just go with a 3000 pixels by uh, 3000 pixels and push enter and it's going to open up a nice box that we could probably use this size on Etsy and now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here you can go over here to the design and type in a t-shirt mock-up for example and we might get some different things like right over here you'd be able to click on that right and then we can go and um, maybe upload some different things and maybe we um, grab this like design right over here but another thing that you can do is you can go over to elements right over here and if you uh, type in a uh, t-shirt mock-up under elements now this is where you're going to get these and then you can go to photos and this is kind of the secrets because now you're going to be able to come in here and uh, grab these different mock-ups like this person right here and then we can go over here and grab uh, something that we might have uploaded earlier, which is like right over here. And then you'll be able to size this down uh, to the appropriate size and put this on a t-shirt. Now that might not look quite as good on a white shirt. Um, depends on what you're looking for. You'll shape that, <clears throat> but we could also come over here and just duplicate the page. Maybe you want to just get this black t-shirt and set it right there like that. Um, then you could grab your design and see if it looks better. I think it looks better on the black right there. And so we'll make it a little bigger. We'll center it and put it about where it needs to go. Um, that actually looks like it's the back of a shirt right there. But then you can just keep going and start messing around with um, different things, right? So uh, like, for example, if you drag this onto the page, then it, it's going to sit like this. And may maybe that's the style you're actually going for. Maybe you kind of want to do something like this and maybe have kind of the border around the top and bottom. If you, I'm going to push delete right there. If you want this to actually take over the page, you drag it to the top left corner and then it will automatically size like so. Um, and then you can just get some different looks at this, right? We can copy our um, shape or we can go back up to our uploads and grab this one and perhaps put it over here on this page right over here, make it smaller and so forth, right? So, um, Again, it's just going to de um, depends on what you're looking for, but that's going to look pretty good right there. Uh, you could duplicate that page right there and maybe go up to the um, elements section. And let's say you're looking for motivation quotes. 
And then you have all these graphics that you can come and choose, right? So I'm going to delete the hope right here. And then you could go and just grab something like this right here. Throw that on the shirt. I mean, just look how good that looks, right? Um, so it's really, really easy. Um, again, we can just say add page. We can go back up to, um, I usually stay in elements because now what we could do is say um, coffee mug, uh, coffee mug mock-up. And now we have all these coffee mugs. So we could just grab a coffee mug. This is going to look kind of bare, right? So you might want to do some different things like, let's just say um, this one down here is going to look a little bit better or the photos are always going to do the best. But if you just want the model right here, you can do that. You can get some, get into customization by <clears throat> going over to here and just saying like office, right? And then going to photos. And if you go to office and photos, we could, you know, just throw in something um, for fun and you could throw that in as your background. And then what you could do is you can go position uh, to the back and then uh, this actually looks pretty cool. Um, and then you could change the transparency a little bit if you wanted to make it stand out just a little bit. Um, and then you could go back to um, your elements and maybe put that quote on this coffee mug like so, and just kind of put it where you're at. Maybe if you want to make it a little bit smaller, something like that. Um, and then you have your coffee mug. You can also grab the coffee mug and make it, a, uh, even if you want it to look like it's sitting on the table, right? You can actually make your own kind of um, scene if you wanted to, right? So we're going to make that smaller and put that on there like so. Uh, something like that, right? So you can do a lot of different things. But what my favorite to do is to just go over to um, the like coffee mug, for example, and then go to the um, start off with images and find someone holding that right like right over here. This is great for the fall. So you'll let you'll bring that image in. And then what you can do is go back over uh, up here to your motivation quotes um, and then go and look at graphics and then go and find some some different things like happy thoughts right here. And then just put that on the coffee mug, maybe make it a little bit smaller. So it looks a little bit more realistic, um, something like that. Right. So you're going to be able to create these mockups very, very, uh, quickly and easily for your, um, Etsy shop or whatever you're trying to build, uh, whatever you need your mockup for. Um, and then another thing that we could do is, go to like hoodie mockup and go to remember, go to photos. If you go to graphics, you are going to get your um, hoodies. If you want to just bring in a hoodie onto the page right over here, you can definitely do that. And then we'll do another page right over here. We'll go to photos and you're going to get some good stuff right over here. Maybe bring that one in. And then you can also bring in someone wearing the hoodie right there like so. And then we'll come back. And we'll go back to graphics and let's just say, I love food, something like that and go to graphics. I mean, check this out. So we'll go to, I love food and for fun, we'll just throw that in right there. It's probably going to need to be smaller, something like that. And you know, you can just grab that and go and see what it looks like on different uh, sweaters and so forth. Like, so, um, that's a little sticker kind of doesn't look so good. So, um, let's see right over here and you can just put that on the sweater like that, right? And we can go grab something else. These ones uh, will work well when they just have the text, right? And you're able to put that on the sweater like, so that's going to be popping a little bit too much. So then you can go to the transparency and take the transparency um, down a little bit. So it'll kind of match uh, with the sweater. So these are some nice mockups that you can create right inside of Canva. We didn't use any other tool and they're really good. Um, you know, some of them are going to be better than others. Like this sticker is going to need to be, um, you know, for it to look realistic, you're going to, that one might not look uh, so great. Uh, we could change that one out and put another one of these quotes. It's just going to look a lot better uh, like so.
But um, this is an easy way to create common mockups that you need for um, Etsy, for TBT, for Shopify stores, for Amazon merch, all kinds of good stuff. You can create these mockups very easily in Canva, even as a beginner. So hopefully this uh, video, this tutorial brought value to you. If it did, please subscribe to the channel so you get more Canva tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.